Hey, I'm here today because I'm planning to dye these super cute leather sandals to this green color. So the story behind uh, these sandals, I uh, got them a few weeks ago in a um, secondhand store and well the insoles were like not this nasty. They looked almost as new but I've been using them for a few weeks now so they need a little cleaning but anyway I came across uh, a few pictures online with beautiful green sandals and I was thinking that it would be so nice to get one of those but they are you know they are really pricey so why not get cheap sandals secondhand and dye them to the color that I desire. So another quick uh, story that uh, I've recently been to uh, a color specialist and uh, she picked out the perfect colors for me. And if you are familiar with the uh, seasonal uh, color analysis, then you might heard about uh, spring as the color season. And it turns out I'm spring. So these are some of my colors. And uh, as you can see, I have some beautiful greens here. And I wanted to dye my sandal to like a nice bright green. And I think this one is a pretty cool color and I think it's a pretty good match for my color palette. So hopefully this sandal will turn out uh, perfect. Yeah, so I got this leather dye this one, come on, focus. I got this uh, leather dye uh, here in Denmark. I live in Denmark. And uh, in Europe, I don't know, there are not many uh, like well known leather dyes. I, I heard about ang angles or something like that, but uh, uh, I can't really order it here. So I bought this if you're in Denmark and uh, you would like to buy leather dye. Well, I guess I could recommend this. We'll, we'll see the end result and then you can decide if you want to go with this dye. So, well, the next step is going to be cleaning and preparing the leather. I'm going to use uh, acetone to clean the leather and then I will wait for it to completely dry and then I will apply uh, a really thin coat of uh, dye and after it uh, dries, well basically it says that after four hours I can apply another layer if it's necessary. So let's get into it. Oh, the surface that I'm planning to dye is uh, cleaned with acetone and now I'm going to wait about 30 minutes, I guess, until it dries completely. So we waited almost an hour, now it's completely dry and uh, now I'm going to use uh, this dye.
So this is how it looks after two coats of dye. It's uh, nearly perfect, but there are some areas uh, where the coverage is, uh, well, not as good as I wanted it to be. You might see it in this area that uh, it's not perfect. So I'm going to apply uh, a third and hopefully a final layer of dye and then it's all set. This is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with the end result. I think I paid about uh, 95 Danish crowns for uh, for the whole thing, about 25 for the shoes and about 70 for the dye itself. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah.